Hello everyone and welcome to a unboxing of boxes review. I have been on holiday for a week and I have a whole bunch of boxes here to open. So let us take a little glimpse and see exactly what has arrived while I have been away. So this is the first one. Ah, this is from Wee Prince Miniatures. And yes, these are a bunch of little figures, um, little miniatures, I would say. I can't remember exactly how many I've got, that seems to be quite a lot of little display bases. Um, okay, there's, there's a couple here. Let's see exactly what we have. Uh, so there you can see we have Cloud and... Oh, I've forgotten his name from Final Fantasy XV. Um, I play as him in, in Tekken. God, I've forgotten his name. But um, yeah, so this is the Final Fantasy VII version of Cloud. You can see it's very nice looking, actually. Is there detail on the feet? Yes, there is. It's got little kind of boots and things on. So that's kind of cool. It's a very nice looking Cloud. Uh, obviously it's unofficial, but um, I thought it was nice enough. My Xbox just turned itself on. How rude. Hmm. Uh, let's see this one. Um, so in here we have the Advent Children Cloud. We have that I believe is Squall or Leon if you play King Heart Games because he renames himself. And this one here is a little necromancer figure um, that I got for a friend. So the whole idea of this is just have little D&D characters so that we can uh, do more D&D in the shop. And this one here uh, obviously looks like Gandalf. He is going to be the boss wizard, which is going to be John, of course. And there we have Legolas, who is going to be a elf ranger. So those all look quite nice. They look to be in good condition as well. So, yes, very cool. Quite pleased with that. Um, they are largely presents for people, um, because I too am loyal to my players. Well, players, friends, I suppose is more an apt word. I'm real loyal to players. But this is a lovely little card that they've given as well, a little postcard. And it says, thank you from Wee Print Miniatures, and you can get 10% off with your next code with VIP10. Um, Hmm. If only I'd known about that beforehand. I could have saved myself some money. But, uh, yeah, whatever. So there we are. So that is the first box, which is very, very nice. In fact, the Necromancer, let me just focus the camera. The Necromancer is a present for the Dark Soul of Card Games, uh, which is Robert. Uh, so let's look at this one. It says Fragile right across all of it. So let me just open this up. I'm going to try to not get my address on camera. Um, let me just give a little snip here uh, through the cell tape. If I can. I'll do this bit on camera. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not exactly the best manner, but. Mm, this works. There we go. And do I need to cut a little bit aside or do I need to cut a little bit aside? Xbox is going crazy over here. Um, it's at my feet and I think my foot might have turned it on. So I think that might be what is going on there. Okay, here we go. It has just been opened. So let's see here. Um, thank you from Collectibles. I appreciate it. Pokemon, Ultra Pro, etc. Ah, I have a good idea of what this is then. Yes, yes indeed. So what these are, are Ultra Pro card holders. And the reason that I got these, these are called Screwdown, the Screwdown series. This is a black thing and 
It is a very special protector, which is going to be used to hold some of my World Championship cards. And some of my cards that cost in around, I don't know, about £1,000 each, roughly. Uh, most of them I haven't actually bought, most of them won. But um, I thought it was about time that I start taking better precautions of these things. So there's a whole bunch of those there, and that explains what that box was. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, this next one certainly feels like a package. This is a big square box, as you can see. Um, so let us try cutting this open. Let's see if I can just do this one on camera. I should do my best. Cut across the top. And I think if I do this side, then there we go. Okay, now let us see what is inside of this. Oh! Very cool. Um, so this came all the way from America because I could not find one here in the UK. And let me just get rid of the packaging and get rid of the box. So this here is the Final Blast series. And I managed to find all our five. I was waiting until I got the sixth one to do a review. And you can see there, it is very cool, that each of these have a sort of finisher kind of things. And that one there is particularly cool because you can do the father son Kamehameha against Cell and you can also have them do little blast things. So you can see this is a regular blast but in the background there you can equip that part there and that will allow you to have a sort of beam struggle which is very cool. So we're going to be doing a video on all six of those at some point. So that has me got the last one in the series, which I'm very, very pleased with. Very, very cool. Uh, let us move on to this one. This looks like a large amount of things. So let me put this open. I don't know if it's multiple things or if this is one large thing, I thought, because um, honestly, uh, sometimes you buy multiple things and you forget where everything's coming from. Sometimes you buy multiple things from one place, other times you buy six or seven things from six or seven different people. So this could be something huge or it could be lots of small things. I honestly am unsure. Let me just cut this part here. Once again, trying my hardest not to get my address on camera. Okay, I'm give this a little bit of a pull here. Oh, yes, right. I'm going to have to cut it. Mm -hmm. And once again on this side. And... Snip. And there we go. Okay, let us see exactly what it is, what is in here. Um, oh, well, it looks like a kind of large thing. And it is indeed. This is Axel from the Kingdom Hearts series. There's a little bit of tape on the back here. Right, well, let's look at him in just a second. And we have a second one under here as well which is Zion. So we shall take a look at these boxes, make sure that they are real because I got them at quite a good price. Um, a, a price that was suspicious because it was uh, a good bit cheaper than what the the other ones were on eBay. But um, well, they certainly, hmm, they look realistic. 
Then there's a hologram in the bottom right corner here. I can see that. Focus camera. Hmm. Square Enix shop. Okay, it is in Japanese. Hmm, the box looks correct. Hmm. The only thing that's put me off a little bit here, and it's um, going to give me a bit of a hint, is that this part here I feel should be clear. Um, it is sellotaped closed, but the sellotape is nothing special, it's just basic sellotape. Hmm. Can't tell. Uh, the Axle one looks pretty good. It certainly looks official in the, the box. But, I mean, the box is easy enough to, to copy. I would say it maybe looks a little bit light. Like the darker, the colour should be a little bit darker. But is that just my imagination? Is that just the lighting at the moment? Hmm. What I need to do is I need to open these figures and I'll be able to tell by the feel of the plastic. But the look of it initially, like just from just from a look perspective, in terms of the paint job on the face and such, it it looks to be correct. Think. Hmm. Interesting. I'm suspicious, but maybe I just got them at a good deal. Maybe they were just cheap. Hmm. 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 I'll need to wait until I do an unboxing video for these guys and then we'll take a look there. Um, right, so we have one last box to do and this box should be quite cool. Um, I believe everything in here is uh, second hand, it's already been opened. Um, uh, I was going to open it upside down, but I realised that the sender has put his address on the bottom of it as well. So, uh, um, I am going to have to just do this little bit off camera. Just uh, slide it open. You can see the box here. Um, and this one, I promise you, is going to be worth the wait because uh, it is not one figure, it is six. And they should be quite, quite cool. Um, what we have here is the strongest sellotape on the freaking planet uh, that even scissors themselves cannot cut. I'm uh, not entirely sure what is going on there. Okay, we're getting a bit of headway now. I'm getting into it. Um, some problems over here. I think they actually be easier to cut through the box than through the cell tube. God knows what he's used. Um, some kind of alien futuristic cell tape technology came from came from some sort of sci-fi universe. So there we go, that part is open so that means I can now free to show this on camera. There. His address is no longer on screen. And let us take a look here. Ah, right, well, everything is all nicely and neatly bowl wrapped, which is very good, actually. Um, so we're going to do a review of this all together. Um, I th think this could be Sora. Oh, no, no, this, is, this looks like Goofy, because I can see Goofy's shield here. Um, 
I'm just going to tell you what this is because you won't be able to see the majority of it. This, this one here is goofy. I can I can tell from the book there. It is six Kingdom Hearts figures. We have Sora, Riku, Kairi, Mickey, Goofy and Donald. Um, all six unboxed, but uh, they should all hopefully be in very nice condition. Uh, the Sora... Um, there's Donald. The Sora, Riku and Kairi are all Bring Arts. I think the Mickey may Bring Arts as well. And I believe the Donald and Goofy are Figma. Um, ah, that'll be Riku. Yeah, so you can recognise him through the bubble wrap. But we'll do a proper unboxing of these. And there's Kairi. Um, removing all the bubble wrap in its own separate video. And there is Sora himself. Yes, the main protagonist of the series, of course. And we have one more. Ah, this will be all of the keyblades and accessories. Um, yes, this feels very, very light and it feels very, very easy to break, so I'm going to be very, very careful with that when I'm doing this. And the rest of this is all just back here. So, that was it for my various different boxes that I've opened. I hope you all enjoyed, and remember, if you like this video, give us a like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can talk to me in the Discord, which you can find in the description below. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.